I'm here today with a very requested video to share my Louis Vuitton agenda. This is in the GM size, so it's the largest one. It is so pretty. It's just gorgeous. I got her brand new and I have just babied this agenda since day one. She very, very, very rarely leaves my desk. <laughs> um, Cause it's just in immaculate condition and I love the beauty of it. Like for me, one of the main purposes of having a Louis Vuitton agenda is just to enjoy how beautiful it is and just kind of revel in that. So every time I see this agenda, it fills me with joy. And I, you know, it's almost like a piece of decor. Like it, it really lives on my desk and it's just so gorgeous. So I want to go through that today. Everybody has been requesting this ever since I did my, um, video on my Louis Vuitton agenda MM, which is the medium size, which is what I use as a wallet. So I'll link that video down below in case you didn't see that. But yeah, since then everybody's been wanting to see this. And to be honest, the delay was that I've kind of been switching over to doing a little bit of like digital planning, if you will, um, using my phone for more stuff. So I just kind of wanted to wait till I had that system ironed out to share this with you and I feel like I do now. I feel like everything's working really well between balancing this, which is something I love and just want to use constantly, but don't always have with me. Whereas this, I have it all the time, but I don't enjoy digital planning as much. Like I love writing things down. I love crossing them off. I'm just, you know, a planner girl at heart. So honestly, I kind of resisted digital planning because I was like, it almost felt like a betrayal of planning, which I've just loved. I mean, like I've gone through all the planner crazes of like Erin Condren, um, day planner, is that what it's called? Day designer and everything, happy planner, everything else. Finally wound up with this and I have finally found planner piece. <laughs> uh, cause this just is a perfect solution for me. It lets you customize everything, which is awesome. Um, cause you can just, it's a three ring binder and you can put whatever you want inside. So yeah, I'm gonna switch the camera to a uh, bird's eye view so you can see more close up. I just wanted to say, basically pop in and say hi first because sometimes I'm watching planner videos and it's just like floating hands and I'm like, who am I talking to right now? So basically I just wanted to say hi. But first, um, yeah, okay, before I switch over, I'll show you what I do on my phone unless this angle doesn't work, we'll see. But basically, since I do have this everywhere, I use it for my calendar, which we use Google Calendar, so like my husband and I can share. If he adds an event, you know, it pops up automatically. Um, so that is my primary calendar. I'll show you once I get into the agenda, how I kind of copy certain things over. Overall, I try to design my system so I'm not writing stuff in two places all the time because that drives me crazy. But there is a little bit of overlap, at least with the calendar. like. If, for instance, if I'm making an appointment, the first thing I would do is check my Google Calendar, put it in there, and then when I would get when I get home, I would copy it over onto my agenda on the calendar section, which you'll see in a second. But so basically, I use my phone for my Google Calendar, but then I also just use the Notes app, the Basic Notes app, and that's my favorite way to digitally plan. I'm not really sure what to call it, but. Brace yourself for a level of detail orientation that may or may not be way too much. Um, but I use my notes app to literally write out like every step of what I need to be doing on like really busy days, really busy days. Like I'll plan ahead and I'll write out like 8.15, feed the dogs, 8.30, walk the dogs, nine o'clock, gym. And I'll literally just write it out like a list like this. Like it's not cute, it's not pretty, it's not pleasing like everything I do in here is, but it's just easy. If I'm on the go, if I have a busy day, cause like I said, I work from home. I'm always running around doing errands. This is like a simple little Bible for me. And then as I go, I just literally d delete things out of this note. So at any point in the day, I can just open this up, see like, okay, I need to be doing this. And then as soon as it's done, delete it. Okay, time to do this. And that just really works for me. I don't do it to that extreme level all the time. It's just if I have a packed day or a packed week, I will time it out on a note. I don't know how weird that is. That's just the system I've kind of come up with. 
Now the other planning things that I have in here are, I'll have a long-term, okay, I call that first thing my life plan. I don't know if that sounds cheesy, but um, that's my like life plan and that's how I just check in like, okay, what's happening now? Then I have my long-term life plan, which I kind of break it down by the month. And I have in here like just general notes. Like if I want to remember like clean out the storage space in August, I'll just jot it down in here. And then when it comes to August and I'm planning August, I can just consult like, okay, we want to have a beach bonfire party this month. I have, Nate has to go to the doctor this month, blah, blah, blah. And I'll transfer it over to my agenda. This is like basically a brain dump. So if I just have something in my mind, like, oh, I can't remember. I have to remember to schedule Nate's doctor's appointment in August. I can just jot it down here. When August comes, I know to check this list. So there's that. Then there's also just a brain dump note. And that's literally like, if, if I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta book those plane tickets or whatever it is, I'll just throw it on here and not, not fuss with it, not deal with it, not make it a to-do list item, not put it in my agenda yet. Like just get it out of my brain to here. And then I check this periodically and I'll move what's here into here or into another note. So that's how that works for me. And then the last thing I do on here is my to-do list, um, which again, I just literally cross, like delete things as I accomplish them. But I prefer to have my to-do list in here, which you'll see in a second. But if I'm on the go, like if I'm in line and I have 10 minutes to kill, I can check this and be like, oh, okay, I need to call the insurance. Maybe I can do that while I'm waiting or something. So this is kind of like my on the go to-do list and you'll see how it interacts with that to-do list. But I just want to show you those things first um, because this is the digital side of it and now we can get into the fun part which is this beauty okay so here she is so gorgeous this um planner charm is from michael's and i just like to put as much cute stuff on my agenda as possible <laughs> as you see right now i have a disney theme it is the happiest place on earth and it makes me so happy so it was just kind of a no-brainer that I would theme my agenda this way and open it up and see all this. But I do have plans for other themes I wanna do. So this is just kind of where I'm at right now. But this dashboard I made by printing the photo on photo paper, um, laminating it, which I have to say getting a laminator is like the best investment I could have made as a planner girl. Like, whoa, such a game changer, I love it. It's so funny, I was like asking my husband, like, do you have anything I can laminate? Like, it's just so much fun. But anyway, I printed this photo, laminated it and hole punched it. I made this little protector out of like kids craft foam. Um, see these like ring indentations. I think it's really helping to protect my planner. I do have a tiny bit of indentations, but they would be like that, you know, severe. And I don't mind the look of it at all, I got, just pink, like I'm telling myself it's Louis Vuitton rose ballerine <laughs> colored. But basically you just cut it into a rectangle and then you cut another rectangle and pop it over this. So that has worked really well for me. And then over here, I've just got lots of cute Disney stuff. These felt clips are all from the same Etsy shop. That one is Cinderella. That is actually a sand castle, but obviously I'm going for the Disney castle. And that one says have a magical day in the Disney font. So I will link that Etsy shop below. And then I also have just like a classic Kate Spade, Kate Spade clip and a fast pass from Disney. My favorite ride just happens to be pink. So it kind of fits in. This says enjoy every moment. I don't remember where I got that. And that is a Disney postcard. So that is my happy Thing when you open it up. I, none of this is really functional. Um, I just like to use this as a pretty spot. And these are actually, they do work with the theme, but these are Beauty and the Beast downloads that I need to get the digital copy of. And I just, honestly, I just kind of like these. Like the way they, they're wrapped reminds me of like getting a toy in a cereal box when you were a kid. It just makes me happy. So for now, they just live here. But I do need to download those. <laughs> On the back of my dashboard, I just stuck a bunch of stick it notes. They're Disney, so they go with the theme. This one's from the Target Dollar Spot. And then here I have my 2017 vision board, which I made in Photoshop, printed, laminated, and hole punched. 
And on the back of that, I have a bunch of photos that are really meaningful to me. Um, this is my dad that passed away and my mom who passed away. So I love to keep photos of them as close as possible and just always be remembering um, how amazing they are. And then I have pictures of my hubby, my handsome hubby and our cute little doggies. Uh, and this is just, this just makes me happier than like anything else in this whole planner, honestly. And I printed these photos using one of those Polaroid zip printers, which to be honest, I did not like and I returned. Um, it's showing up better on camera, but the quality of these photos is really not good. So I wish I could find another small printer like that because it was so convenient and I love how this worked out. But anyway, so that's laminated. Then here are some pages that I photocopied out of another planner. Whoops, sorry. Another planner I have, it's called the Law of Attraction Planner. And I don't really use it as much because I use this, obviously. So I just copy those pages out. These are questions to empower your day. And then here is this really cool chart to like affirmations to help you figure out where you are, like where your mood is at and how to elevate your mood with affirmations, elevate your emotional vibration. And then these are like actions that you can take that make you feel better. Um, and just keep yourself at like a really high emotional vibration. So those are really helpful. Okay, then I have my dividers, which I made myself and they go with my Disney theme. I got a pack of Disney paper on Amazon and I just cut it down to size using some other dividers I had as a template. And then I photoshop or, um, <laughs> not photoshop, uh, laminated it and I did it double sided. So those turned out really cute. And then I just put a label on there with my label maker. So my first section is monthly. These are the monthly pages from Sessa V. I love that shop so much. So nice. So like here's January. I did a little bit of decorating there. February, I did a lot because that was my birthday month. March, I got more simple. I think April, was, yeah, April is really simple. May was super simple. Anyway, basically what I do with these is I just copy over stuff from our Google Calendar that things I might want to look back and reference like when did we go on that trip or when did I get my hair done or whatever so that's all just functional like if I were making an appointment I would not consult this I would consult my google calendar <laughs> this is more for referencing back like anniversaries um goals stuff like that so that's my monthly section the next section is daily and these are cute lady in the tramp paper part of my divider set i made and so here okay here are weekly pages from sessa v this one i don't have one that's filled out because i haven't filled one out for this week yet but basically i just write in the dates and this is like my weekly overview where i put what day i have like any major appointments any major plans sorry i keep knocking the camera but anyway so this is where i would put just any major appointments i have or big plans um, so I can kind of see at a glance like okay Thursday's a less busy day Monday's a really busy day blah 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 uh, one thing I don't like about these is the water droplets like who who really tracks their water in their planner I don't know I never have but then I've got this today divider which is off of Etsy and that kind of separates my weekly from my dailies so I have okay this is the only one I have filled out right now but these are from Sessa V as well. And there's like two little sections that you can make a to-do list and a section for your daily calendar or whatever, um, and notes. So that is really helpful for me. Basically, I don't use this every single day, but if I'm having a day where I'm gonna be sitting at the desk working for the majority of it, I would definitely use one. And it just kind of helps me prioritize my to-do list during that time. And I also have these daily capsule pages from cloth and paper, similar format to do this on one side, appointments on the other side. I really like that layout. Um, then this one also has a place for a mantra, which I never know what to write every single day, a different mantra. Memos and gratitude, which is cool. And then I also have these pages, which a really cool girl made for me. She has a 
um, business creating custom inserts and she is awesome. I'll put her info down below. Her name is Kathia. So these are really pretty and it's the same format that I like where I have like a schedule and a to-do list and a place for notes and gratitude. So I just kind of alternate between these daily pages depending on what I have going on and which one I want to use. Like sometimes a whole week will go by and I won't use one. Sometimes a week will go by and I use one every single day. Also another thing is I don't like to write on the left side because I'm right-handed and these rings like really get in the way. So the cool thing about getting these from Kathy is I could have her just leave this blank because I never use it. Okay, the next section is to do, I don't know, is this like Cinderella paper? I'm not sure. But these are to-do list sheets that I also had her make for me and it's divided into sections, home, work, errands, and then I can fill in whatever. So this was from, yeah, this is from last week. And that's just kind of how I like to break it down. The two, basically if it's a to-do to do item I'll be doing at my desk, I put it here. Or if it's an errand. And then otherwise I would list it in my phone like I showed you, just so like those are the things I'll do on the go. So that's my to-do section. Okay, next section is ideas, a little mermaid paper. And I covered these up because some of these ideas aren't ready for the world yet, but basically I have a few pages in here of like various business ideas and um, things I want to bring to life that, you know, kind of goals I'm working towards. Then I've got a planning section and this is literally just for ideas related to planning because I love it. So like here are ideas for future agenda themes that I want to do. And I had another page that I don't know where I put it. Um, that was like my planner piece checklist and just kind of like figuring out how I want to use this versus how I want to use the digital stuff like I showed you. Okay, then I have a goal section. I covered these up as well, but these are like goals and resolutions and things that I'm working toward. Then I have a shopping section, yay. <laughs> and these are from Sessa V. It's just a simple order tracker. I just write the date where and mark if it's shipped and um, delivered. This bookmark is from Barnes and Noble. Isn't that so cute, like a giant ring? I keep it on my shopping section so I can quickly just flip to this and see like if I'm waiting on any orders. So then I have finances and here I have bill tracker sheets from Sessa V again. And obviously I covered that up, but there's a blank one. It's just the due date, what it is, the amount and when it's paid. And that just helps me to kind of keep track and make sure like, is anything else supposed to be coming out of the account? Keep track of all that. Okay, then I have a health section and in here I print out these blank calendars and I just write down my workouts because I don't like to clutter up my monthly calendar with this. So like this is a whole calendar just for my workouts and I can see at a glance like, hmm, like I've got a lot of blank days or yeah, like this one has like kind of a lot of blank days or what I did when and it helps me to just track how I'm doing overall with exercise. And I have those just printed out for the rest of the year. Then I have a beauty section because you guys know I love all that girly stuff. And I do the same thing with beauty where I have its own calendar just to track it. So for me, that just makes it really easy to see like when I got a manicure last or when I got my hair done last, when I got a massage done last. And it just lets me plan ahead a little bit. Like I can kind of pencil in like, okay, I think I'm gonna get my next manicure before this party or whatever and just write it in as I go. Okay, then I've got a notes section and that's literally just blank paper that I take and transfer over. This blank checklist paper, I think it's from Amazon. And then these are colored Filofax pages. And then the last one I just said miscellany and that is, this has business cards, stamps, the original Louis tags. And then I have this pocket of stickers, which I don't use a lot as you saw, but if I ever do decide to decorate, like I like to be a little more functional with it. And these are from Faye Creates, which is a really cute Etsy shop. And I just like how these are like little icons. They're kind of like no fuss, you know, like just simple. If I want to kind of bullet point my to-do list, I can use these or like, um, 
code my calendar with these. And then those also canceled and rescheduled. So these are really cool and I love to use these and I wanna use them more, which is why I put them in here. And then the last thing, I just have this like open pocket, have my Disney pass holder info cause it goes with my whole theme. <laughs> and then the back, I don't have anything except for this note pad, which is from Disneyland Hotel. I don't know if that, you can see that. But I always keep that there because I've seen other videos where this can indent the um, agenda. So I always keep that to protect it. And then the last thing is the pin I'm using. This is Le Pin. And it's just like a neon pink one. It came in like a four pack, I think, of different colors. So that's it. That's how I plan. I have a lot of sections and I just kind of like it that way to keep it really organized. And I will literally just write lists and lists and lists and put them in the appropriate section. And then I just know like, okay, that's written down. Like it can be released from my brain now and I have a system in place so I can relax. <laughs> but this has worked really well for me. I hope you guys got some inspiration from this. Let me know if you have any questions at all and I will try to share everything in the description box too. And if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. I do a lot of videos about organization planning and mostly beauty because that's my favorite fun thing. But anyway, thank you so much for checking this out and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.